I love it when people look at my channel and say, hey, CC, can you please play a certain artist or a certain song? And in this case, it was both. So I said, okay. Never heard of this artist because I've always been introduced to new music around the world by you, the fans. So India Martinez, because somebody loved my Monica Naranko, who I just featured and is attached to this video, um, reactions and said, have you ever heard of India Martinez? And I said, in fairness, I haven't, but tell me more. And they did. And I'm going to introduce India Martinez now to you in a little bit of a bio. We need to get to know her. She's quite phenomenal. I've seen a few, obviously, of her videos to get warming up to the music and persona that she is. Jennifer Yester Martinez Fernandez is her name from Cordobia, Spain. Known professionally as India Martinez, was a Spanish flamenco and pop singer. Her artistic name was made out of the first manager she had at the age of 17 when she signed for her first record contract. Her first contact with flamenco was through the dance classes she received from Neves Camacho in Cordobia at the age of five. When she was 11, she moved with her parents to Puerto de, I hope I say this, Roquetes de Mar in Almeria, where a year later she began to sing and also started to be called La Nina de Puerto. She was nominated to Latin Grammy Award for the Best New Artist during Latin Grammy Awards way back in 2009. And she won Premio Cadena Dial 2012, an award for the album. This I heard, gold album, it went gold in Spain, number one for many weeks, uh, for the album Trece Verdas. She signed to Sony Music Entertainment thereafter, and she also won in 2015 the Goya for the best song from the Spanish film El Nino. Now everybody, you need to go onto Netflix and see if you can get El Nino. It's worth checking that out. Let's go up to more recently. In 2016, she released, can you believe her seventh album? And I haven't heard of her. To Cuento and Secreto, which was the gold, the gold album that went straight to number one. And in Spain in the first week, in she also made a collaboration with the singer Prince Royas, with whom she sings Gris. Now, Gris, not Gris, Gris, G-R-I-S. I'm looking forward to actually reacting to, to that particular song. So out of this artist, I've got two reactions I've got to do after this one. But so far, we're going to go with this particular video attracted me because of all the images everybody I looked at the images and said how interesting and how different I haven't heard it that's why I'm all over the place with my notes and my research because it's all live and I just want to bring up the title of this and of course I bring up other lyrics it's called our world so sorry about that but it is all live so India Martinez our world bienvenida to my Musica channel. And to the fan who asked me, Lo siento, it's muy tarde. I know, uh, way before Christmas you asked, but at least in 2023, I shall be featuring her a lot more. I'm very intrigued by this artist. I hope you are too. Let's listen to the soulful sound in this particular video. That is India Martinez.
canciones y apagar la radio nunca me sirve de nada. Respirar no significa llenar los pulmones y el amor no se alimenta solo de palabras. Acunamos demasiado tiempo la esperanza y al final como un bebé se nos quedó dormida. Fuimos cine pero solo nos faltó la danza y ahora el baile que nos queda huele a despedida. Quiero ver Well, I have to say, I love that for pop music. I have to say that was not what I expected from the images. I didn't, I saw one of her and the horse and then I saw all the, like I thought was Viking stuff. So I thought it was going to be more rock, more heavy, more kick-ass, but it was so full, graceful and perfect for the song that it was. I loved the depth in her voice, the huskiness. She's got a rather husky voice, and that's different compared to a lot of Spanish singers, especially female that I do feature or I've been listening to searching for new one, new people to come onto my channel. But I have to say, India Martinez, I'm very intrigued, very intrigued. And I have to say as a horse lover, what a beautiful animal. Absolutely stunning horse. Just so elegant, so graceful. And the way it was trotting, it's, it's a real thoroughbred horse. And a guapo man at the end of your long ride along that beautiful empty beach. Where was it that it was so empty? So beautiful and talented and everything is beautiful in the video. So let's get into the lyrics. Are they as beautiful or they have us in tears? I hope not. It's called Our World. It starts... Spring appears and I'm not able to see it. My memories where you appear are erased. I understood that there are things that is not enough to love them. As much as we loved each other yesterday, today fades away. So obviously, it's about a bittersweet love. At the time there was love, but it's bittersweet now because with the distance, with every hour, with every waking day, with every waking week, months, depending. Many people suffer this situation of your memory just forgets the time, the places, everything. And can I say something? It's quite refreshing to read these kind of lyrics because now I give you a different perspective. It is essential we do forget bitter relationships, bitter breakups, bitter everything, for our mental well-being and our physical well-being to jump into another situation, even another relationship and give the next person that unused energy because a lot of people burn themselves out by crying and getting upset and saying, Ugh. but if it fades away, it fades away for a reason. When you think of it, we use computers every day and we always have to erase at some point images, history, files to, to refresh the computer. The body, the brain works the same. It continues, nothing remains of what was of our world and the photo of that trip doesn't look like us. And although I'm clear that you, 
although I'm clear that you are the last page, suddenly I feel so afraid of losing you. When a relationship comes to its finality, and we see that when she's with the sword, and she's there, and she's putting the chain over the sword, it's almost like an Excalibur mo moment. And Excalibur, everybody, for those that don't understand, is legendary myth that was made a film and a whole series of films about the sword in the stone and the person who pulls the sword will rule the world kind of thing. Mythology. So when it comes to your heart, it's like that big sword has been stuck into it and you feel you're on a, like she was, on a battlefield and all there is is emptiness. There's no bodies. When you looked at the video, there was no bodies, just arrows, arrows of the heart. That represents emotions. The video is representing her fighting that last breath of re resilience. I'm the last one standing. I feel like I'm the only person in the world suffering like this. And there I am with the sword. But she dies at the sword because it's like the last page she talked about. Because when you lose somebody, somebody, you die emotionally with them. And I think that's what the video is trying to represent. I want to see you, it continues. At the same time, I want to be myself far from your steps. I'm no longer, I'm not that woman that she is dying to sleep in your arms. And it continues. I want to see you even though we know well that ours ended a while ago. And I feel it and I know that you too do. But tell me, who dares to take the first step? So she's wondering, how do you finish something that has died and you have died with it emotionally to move on in life? And it's a question I often ask in my videos. It's simple, you've got to come together. So she continues along the beach to meet that person, to have that final kiss. They, they meet and they greet. What's to become at the end of the video was left with a big question mark, what will happen? Nobody knows. But sometimes you've got to meet the person that's broken your heart and you've got to meet the, and, it, and maybe that person didn't break your heart. Maybe you're in a sit, situation where time, different lives separated. But you've got to sometimes put finality, it's like the sword, the final sword into the stone and let somebody else pull the sword. In that in, with that other person because you've got to have you've got to talk you've got to clear the head to clear the heart so that's what it's all about because the next two verses said every day I wake up with our songs and turning off the radio never does me any good breathing does not mean filling the lungs and love does not feed only on words we cradled, hoped too long, and in the end, like a baby, we fell asleep. We were swans, but we only lacked the dance. And now the dance that we have left smells of farewell. So, as she said, there was no effort put into the relationship. It was, it's more or less one of those relationships you, you start, you take every day as it comes, slowly. There was no, oh, let's make this happen, let's move forward, let's have babies, let's build a house, let's build a future. No pressures, just every day. But every day they got further and further away from each other. Nothing was said, nothing was exchanged. So their relationship was purely, not, not even physical, it was, pure, it was just an experience. And on her behalf, she needs to know why they didn't do things differently. And here's my advice. Sometimes it's better not to know. Move on. Because if you don't move on, you go back to that one thing I always say to people, the mental state. So it continues in the next couple of verses. If it's time to leave, what am I still doing here? If I know that it doesn't do me any good, what do, why am I thinking of you? No matter how much I tell myself that tomorrow is another day, I'll always return to the place where I met you. We do. When we break up with somebody, when we are drifting apart from somebody, you think about the first time you met them, the smiles, the warmth, the exchanges, all those fuzzy things that made it. And then you, you went into a relationship. But 
that's normal to think of those things because it's like clearing a computer. You need to go through the thought process to delete them. And then it says, I want to see you. And at the same time, I want to see myself far from your steps. I'm no longer that woman who is dying to sleep in your arms. So in the end of the video, when she gets off the horse and she meets him, she's met him. But she's not wanting to have a romantic night on the beach and sit with him all night into the following morning. She, she kissed him gently, they smiled, they interacted. But she's in control of herself now. All she needs to know is why. And some of us, as in the video, die not knowing why. So if you're one of those persons, move forward and ask that other person to me to know. Don't do it by text, do it one to one. Get a horse, pick a beach, get them to meet you there, and go riding along. Do what India Martinez does so well. I enjoyed that video. 